Well, good day, everybody. This is uh, Chris with the Ancient Scholar, and uh, today what I'd like to talk about is I'd like to talk um, about what will be going on at the uh, college here in um, uh, just under two months. Uh, so this video is going to be directed more toward uh, the students that I have uh, in class, and this will be the uh, spring semester of 2014. So this is specifically, uh, specifically it'll affect the students in my advanced uh, EMT uh, lecture, advanced EMT lab, advanced uh, EMT clinical experience, and uh, the uh, pharmacology uh, course that I'm teaching. Um, and that thing that is affecting us is something known as the HLC um, or High Learning uh, Commission Accreditation and that will be uh, occurring um, toward the end of April here at Doniana Community College. So what I want to do is I want to do a quick video to talk a little bit about what HLC, excuse me, HLC or High Learning Commission um, Accreditation um, is in, in a general sense and, and what will, will happen in a general sense. Uh, when the team comes down to do the inspection of the college and uh, as as a student uh, you should expect to have to interface uh, with these people um, they may come into the classroom and uh, they may uh, monitor or, or, or look at what's going on in the lecture and lab experiences and they may even ask you uh, questions um, uh, about your experiences and what you think about this and that and uh, what do you know about this and that. Um, now obviously there are things that they can't know as far as you know their uh, FERPA privacy stuff as far as you know what your your grades are. They can't ask you um, those kinds of, of personal questions um, but they can ask you general questions about uh, your experience and, and kind of what you know about the college and, and how things uh, operate and run. Um, so if you go to our, our, our main web, web page here, uh, Doniana Community College, dabcc.nmsu.edu, uh, there actually uh, is a, a link uh, called HLC Accreditation right here. Um, we are currently HLC accredited, and this is a reaccreditation visit. So if you click on that link, which I'm going to do right here, um, that link will take you to a page that will give you some general information about the college. So this is just a little countdown timer here. It says um, how many days, hours, minutes, and seconds, etc. Uh, until the uh, accreditation uh, visit uh, begins. Um, and then this is just some uh, basic information uh, for you guys that you can take a look at kind of uh, to understand what's going on with accreditation. Um, in the United States, uh, colleges and, and universities, we're, we're a college, which, which means that we offer a two-year associate level degree. Um, we are, uh, of course, associated or run, managed by a university, and university is able to offer a, a four-year uh, degrees and, and beyond. Um, now, this is, a, this is a question that actually comes up quite a bit um, with students. And that is, well, how will this impact my ability to graduate from your program and obtain licensure or certification in, in my field, uh, particularly in EMS, because that is one of the uh, endpoints, if, if you will, at um, getting through a program. Most people are in the EMS program because they um, in intend to uh, graduate at whatever level of experience they're seeking and gain um, employment in in the field of EMS. So this is a very uh, a very important question and a good question to ask and, and this actually does answer that in, in a roundabout way but I want to go ahead and just make sure everybody's clear on what's going on there. Um, so there are two, two levels of uh, educational accreditation. There's what's known as institutional accreditation and this is accreditation that involves the the entire college as an institution and generally what that college is doing as an institution and what the major policies and procedures and mission statements and goals and etc. And then there are what we call specialized accreditations. And these specialized accreditations are the, the, the types of accreditation that apply to specific uh, educational and vocational programs such as uh, nursing, uh, for example. The nursing program um, is, has different uh, 
different types of accreditation they need. The dental hygiene program, the respiratory therapy program, um, the radio, radiological technology program, etc. have their own specialized accreditation. In addition, the EMS program has its own specialized accreditation. Um, and when it comes to obtaining certification, licensure, um, uh, particularly when it comes to things like national registry and obtaining state licensure, the specialized accreditation is going to be important. That will be the one that dictates whether or not you're able to graduate from our program and go on and actually get a license. Um, uh, so with that said, uh, the EMS program here at Doniana Community uh, College is, uh, does have its specialized accreditation. Um, and we actually, we just reaccredited uh, a little less than two years ago, I believe. Um, so we are actually not due for any type of reaccreditation on our specialized accreditation. So the Higher Learning Commission uh, visit in the end of April is not going to affect the specialized accreditation of the EMS program. So you know, kind of rest assured there that you're not going to be affected as far as when you graduate in May uh, with your uh, first responder, uh, your EMT, your advanced EMT, or even your, um, your paramedic um, uh, credentials. Uh, those, of course, are um, accredited both through, uh, we have a state, um, we are authorized uh, through the state of New Mexico, um, and um, uh, our paramedic program, of course, is, 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 is accredited um, because National Registry requires that we have that specialized accreditation. So I know that it was a roundabout thing to say, but just I wanted to put everyone at ease there. Um, however, what the Higher Learning Commission will affect is our institutional accreditation. Um, and we are specifically... Um, accredited uh, through the North Central Association of Colleges and Schools. Um, and this commission accredits uh, just over a thousand colleges, actually says right here, um, in about 19 or 20 states, um, from um, um, Arkansas to Arizona, Colorado, um, Idaho, Indiana, New Mexico, South Dakota, Wisconsin, a whole laundry list of states. Um, and our, the day that our accreditation will begin is April 28th. 2014, and that should correspond with this this uh, counter up here. Okay, um, DACC has formed uh, an accreditation committee. In fact, what we have done prior to the accreditation is um, we have done a uh, kind of like a how do I want to put this a kind of a site visit, um, if you will and uh, a self-study, as they call it, and the um, documents for that self-study should be popping up fairly quickly. So you can actually go in, um, download the documents, look at them. You do have a link for the um, HLC advisory documents um, that came out last, uh, last year, May of uh, 2013. Um, and there are also different links for the steering committee that's involved with this. And then all of the different criterions, I'm not going to talk about them individually, but there are several different criterions that the, um, the accreditation will be looking at for uh, us um, in order for us to uh, successfully uh, get through that. Okay, so that's kind of a, a general uh, thing that's going on. And if you want more information, what you can do is you can actually just hop on over on the Internet and pop on over to the Higher Learning Commission's website. Um, and that is at https colon forward slash forward slash www.nacahlc.org. Um, and it will bring you to the website, Higher Learning Commission, accreditation of the North, Cent North Central Association. And what you can do, I think um, what tends to be um, the easiest thing to do is you have these little links up here, and you can go to these links. And um, what I would recommend is you know you can just kind of go through, go look around it. Um, you can just click on home here if you want. Uh, make sure on the home page, and um, it can actually you can use these links and kind of get a feel for some of the 
what's going on with them, um, what, what are they looking at. Um, you know, if you go here to the, the, the accreditation process, uh, talk about the criteria, you know, what, what makes a college a candidate, what, what are the exact cri criterion, uh, criterion, criteria rather, um, and what, what, pe what do people do as they seek, they want to seek um, accreditation. You have all that information there. Um, they have some policies and statements, uh, document libraries, uh, HLC institutions, peer review, and of course this just is the home link that, that kind of takes you back home. Um, so you can get more information about um, the Higher Learning Commission and the accreditation process and uh, what's going on there. Um, if you go to the bottom of the web page, this is a link that I've actually found pretty helpful. Um, you go to the bottom of the page and you click on this link that says Frequently Asked Questions. Um, and this is actually kind of nice because this link will then take you to, um, there we go, take you to Frequently Asked Questions. And they have this divided into areas for the public, uh, general questions, what will happen with a campus visit. A peer review, et cetera, et cetera. Um, again, you know, will I be able to abstain, light, obtain licensure in my field of study? That's a pretty important question that a lot of people in the public are asking um, because these are things that directly affect their ability to be employed. And you click on it and it just says, look, you know, licensure is a state um, or a federal agency, um, and, and you talk to them. Um, are an institution's online programs accredited, and then it talks about that as well. Um, so this is a way of getting uh, additional information. I'm going to go back to the Doniana Community College website because, uh, from what I understand, some of the, some of the questions that uh, people ask, the accreditation ask, is is they want to see how um, in how students and employees um, how they understand the the general day-to-day um, -day, um, ways, methods, and, and, and just the general way that the college runs and a really good way of understanding what the college is, is about, the bottom line, is if you click um, or you, you look up what, what is the mission statement, what, 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 what is a vision and what are the values and goals of, of the particular institution and you can see that there's a link there on the Doniana Community College website um, and this is our mission statement. Um, and you know, some people don't know this. They eh? don't know that hey, the college actually has a mission statement. This is the bottom line where our statement is. It is the Doniana Community College is a responsive, accessible uh, learning center community college. It provides educational opportunities to a diverse community of learners in support of workforce and economic development. Um, what's our vision? You know, what are we? What are we? What are we shooting for? What do we want to see? Well, we want we want to be a premier learning college that's grounded in academic excellence, committed to fostering lifelong learning um, and active, responsible citizenship uh, within the community. And these are the things that we value, okay? Um, what do we want? Our core values. We want education that does this. It offers lifelong learning opportunities, fosters dynamic learning opportunities, um, environments, um, guarantees equality of rights and access, et cetera, et cetera. These are what we want with our students. These are what we want with our employees. And this is what we ultimately look at the community. Um, and so when those site visitors are coming through, they are, they, they may, they will, this will be very important. You know, are, are uh, people like me who teach here, you know, are we in line with the overall mission, uh, vision, and values um, that, that the college has put forth? And as a student, um, is your experience at the college, um, is that, in, you know, how, does the experience that you have reflect this? Um, and actually, this is kind of a cool thing to go through, and, uh, you know, I, apparently uh, some of these site uh, visitors have actually asked people, hey, do you know what the mission statement is? Um, now, I don't know that I would, you know, memorize all this, but um, it has, it's, it's not, probably not a bad idea just to have a, a general idea of it, and if you don't know it exactly, just say, hey, I don't know exactly, but boy, I sure know where to find it. Um, so that's going to go ahead and conclude the, the video. Hopefully that, that helps you guys out as, as we get closer and closer to higher learning uh, commission's um, site visit. 
more and more information will be uh, coming out, I'm sure. Uh, but I wanted to just kind of do a heads up, uh, get this video out. Uh, I'll post it to Canvas so um, all of my students will be able to see it. And if you have additional questions, uh, go ahead and just get a hold of me through Canvas and I'll either try to answer them or try to uh, um, get contacted with someone who can answer uh, more specific questions if they come up. Okay, guys, as always, thanks for hanging